All right, good day class. So today we're gonna to show you guys a video demonstration here, a little Inkscape tutorial on setting up an image for laser cutting using the software Inkscape. So I'm gonna hand you guys out this set of directions here. I'm gonna go through, through these directions that I've printed out for you. This video also helped you guide you through this tutorial as well, okay? All right, so first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to open up your Inkscape program. So remember, how do we go to Inkscape? We have to go down to the bottom left-hand corner of our screen, click on the Start menu. Obviously, with this video here, you can't, the video share screen, you're not able to see this section here, but then you can just click All Programs, type in Inkscape. Remember, it's Inkscape 0.91. Once Inkscape finally opens up, we can, we can continue with the setup of the, or the, the start of the directions on the paper tutorial. So under the first first bullet point of setup, obviously was open Inkscape, so we did that already. So now what we need to do is we need to change document properties. So number two, so we're changing document properties. So we're gonna go up to, click on file, and we'll come down to document properties. And for this activity, we want to make sure we're going to move this over here a little bit. I want to change my default units right here where it says pixels. We're going to change this to inches. Then we're going to come down to our custom size units here. We're going to change this to inches as well. For this activity, we're going to make our width and height be five by five. So we're going to go five inches by five inches. And we're going to close this menu out. Now you notice the screen, the drawing canvas shrunk a little bit. So I'm going to click on my zoom to fit page and window button. Yours are most likely on the laptops will be on the right side, right hand side of your screen. But on this particular desktop computer, it's up on this section here. So I'm going to press that button to maximize my screen. All right, now, so inserting an image. So Here's how we're gonna insert an image. So we're gonna take, we're gonna have you guys choose an image from the black and whites folder that you should have downloaded. That's a video that I've created already once. They'll show you how to demonstrate, demonstrate how to download that, that folder from Google Classroom. All right, so to insert an image, we're gonna go up to File, Import, in our look in section for you guys, go, go into your look in section, go to your H drive, says so this will mine look like H drive, do black and whites, and we're gonna go into the good for cutting section. So now in here, you guys can choose any image you want to all these different plethora of subfolders that you can use. So just for this one, I'm just gonna choose something simple. We'll go into, I'll just choose something from games. And I'll choose this picture here of Mario. And I'll click open. Once this window comes up, just click OK. And now you see Mario is on my screen. So all you gotta do now is kind of just sort of use the adjustment handles to make sure he fits in this fits in the drawing canvas properly. All right, so now that's all se selected. Like I said, letter E was the select tool, make them fit. So now we're going to trace the body pieces. So that's number three in the Roman numerals on the worksheet or the, on the uh, tutorial directions. So once you have the image selected, so choose your select tool, have the image selected. So now we're going to go and click on path up on top here, click on path and trace bitmap. I'm gonna move my screen off to the side. So now in this section here, under letter A, under multiple scans, creates a group path, look for scans. So under here where it says scans, I'm gonna insert, change that to two. Letter B, I'm gonna make sure that smooth and stacked scans and remove background are checked. And then for letter C, it says, make sure the live preview button is checked. So I checked that, you can see the image right there. And then I'm gonna click okay. 
as you can see now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this out and I'm going to select the image and as you can see now it made a little drafted version of or another version of the image so I'm going to move that one click on the original image and delete it and now this is the traced ver traced image of Mario. So I'm now going to go to to our next section, section four of fill and stroke. So, so make sure the image is selected. So now I'm going to go back up to where it says click on object and then fill and stroke. All right, in this section here, for letter A, it says select the fill tab. So I selected the fill tab and choose the X button for, or no paint button. And you'll see that the body piece, or not the body piece, but the character disappeared. For letter B, I'm gonna select the stroke paint tool. So click stroke paint. And now I'm going to choose the flat color image section selection and now you can see that the outline of Mario is now in, in place there. Finally for letter C I'm going to click stroke style and I'm going to make sure that this drop down box here is inches it should say it should it should be inches already if you didn't already change it in the setup so that should be in inches. And then for the stroke width right here, where it says stroke width, I'm gonna change this to 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.001. And then I click enter. And now as you can see, the image is very, the outline image is very faint, but this now lets the uh, machine, it'll let the machine know that it's gonna be a vector cut. So now we need to go to our saving options. So simply just go up to file, save as. So you'll just save this as your last name, do underscore, and just put laser cut. And then simply click save. So make sure when you save, click your drop down box choose your home screen or choose your H drive, your home drive. So you'll have Phillips laser cuts. So you will be Smith laser cut and then click save. So what that did, it saved your image as an Inkscape file. So now we also want to save it as a PDF. So simply just go back up to file, save as. Everything here should all still be in the same spot. The name should still be the same. You're just gonna click this drop down box here and choose portable document format. If you're not able to see it because of the share screen options, it's the fourth one down. So the first one will be Inkscape, SVG, plain SVG, compressed SVG, complain S compressed plain SVG. So the portable document format will be the fifth one down, PDF. So you'll choose that and then you'll then click save again. This button here will show up and just click okay. And then you just upload it to Google Classroom. I'll have a Google, I'll have a, an assignment spot posted for you. This will be an activity that we're gonna do in class today. So we'll upload it to Google Classroom and you'll get some, you'll get some points for it.